coming. They've already won one trophy. They claim a place in the Asian Champions League, crucially, and were scintillating four. The forefront of the defender's mind, and then you have to pose a threat at the opposite end. And Al Tawu really had that in a dual strike for. So, yeah, it's something to contain, but you've got... And they don't measure success simply in terms of their bid to become the Rossan Saudi Pro League champions, the first of the new era. They won the pre-season Arab Club Champions Cup and crucially also a playoff for the Asian Champions League and from here the focus will immediately shift to that. The first group game for Al Nasser, a trip to Tehran to meet Persepolis. And that has to wait for now and so too does the big four showdown next weekend in this league against Al Akhli. For recent years left out for Tavares here and eight of the Al Nasser players. 4-0 and Al Hazam last time out 5-1 and here we go again Ronaldo and Co back in business see if it has a equally positive impact on the centre half he's alongside Al Jack it's a good win back in the middle of the field Ronaldo goes the other way goalkeeper looked a shade reluctant to confront him there I must say it's a good race Maybe not something that you anticipate seeing too often now. Ronaldo playing on the shoulder, but very nearly getting also the impetus is on those two wide players to work really hard. Uh, the Sari got down. That will probably extend the amount of minutes that the players can play from the off, but at the moment, absolutely the coach is having to utilise everything they've got in reserve. Um, so we'll see how it transpires as the season plays out. And Al given away on the edge of the box then by Otavio. Might have been worth a hit from that range. Instead, the goalkeeper comes out, Al Kidi, and drops upon it. In space, drives into the box. Possibilities on the back post. It's going to drift wide. Fazer didn't give up on it. And just as well that Al Kidi stayed awake there, the goalkeeper. The first real attack with proper purpose there and it was a wonderful ball in that's so difficult when the ball was I think the majority of the players that have played with him they were a pretty happy go lucky character happier when he's scoring goals so you're not going to see a smile right here for a minute if to make a darting run I don't think Marley saw him he went on his own merry way and he got the shot off what a good hit it was and a nice strong riposte from the keeper there Moreira even if he didn't catch it Terrific play. It looked like they were well set actually. Norman with air on it from Tellez into Mane and he tried to guide it at that far post, I think. Doesn't get much better than that. The main camera angle. Now something to do for the other goalkeeper. He's slow to get there. Tavares was on his way past him. But he's missed the target as well. What a chance. It's a brilliant ball, actually. It's beautifully played into the space and doesn't get any bend on the ball. It's the right finish, I think. Right foot to drive forward. Tavares spearing through the middle. Not really a pass he could make, but the next best was to win a free kick, which he has done. Left footed. He's done some good things in the game, really. Probably entitled to have a go, Sayud, but never threatening. First team players available to them. Down the side goes Fuzer into the opposition box. He took too long over that. Laporte came across. Yeah, Laporte. <laughs> Through the middle. Had to stop for it, but he's got Sunbel on his outside, and here he is. This is the target. That's the top and bottom of that. opportunity just taking liberties a little bit Tellez once more I thought this was clever from Tavares he recognised he put it up and Badi Otavio floats one in there shade unlucky nice idea difficult skill but he, we know he's capable of pulling it off Brozovic again I think an example of the similarities between the two players improved certainly here goes Mane setting himself before he delivered Gonzalez stayed for but uh, Brozovic topped the shot a little bit 
an easy chance, but again, on us, Sam, that's where they can really hurt this. Al Rey back line, I think. Maybe now Imane. Yes, they do. Oh, what a strike. Sadio Mane. Al Nasser against the run of play have gone in front. And they just got a little stretch, didn't they? For one of the first times, as you said, Paul in transition, a little bit more direct. And it means that you've got defenders running back towards their own goal and you get a little disjointed. That said, what that man's just produced. Could it all be falling apart inside 60 seconds here for Al Raid? Here comes Ronaldo. Oh, I thought that was going to burst the net, that one, did you? I did, yeah. It probably needed that deflection, didn't it? Let's have a look. Is this on the target? Seven minutes and no more of additional time played. A captivating first half transformed in the last few minutes of it. Sadio Mane with a special horse. And the player, tell us. That was to this guy, and it's a tame effort in the end. That's a presentable opportunity, really, for Akhaibiri. Straight at Moreira. Too many attacking positions. Tumble coming in on that. Better tempo about Al Nasser, I think, early in the second half. Tedisca! Oh, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Four in four meetings now against Al Raid. Surely not better than that one. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Delicious strike. I think the goalkeeper has that problem because he's afforded so much space. He can go either side there, so he's not going to commit himself one way or the other too early. Probably got to watch it come off to Liska's foot before he moves. Norman is free on the back post and still free on the back post, but the ball is here. Sayud. That's the ball I think Sam was speaking about. It's well delivered this time. Goalkeeper in no man's land was left to turn round and hope. And another chance today for Al Raid comes and goes. It's arguably the best ball of the game. Superb breach. Going the other way. Al Khana, great cross. His money distracted. Either way, he missed it. Oh, they're tough, those ones. I want to say it's a sitter, but when they're jumping up at your shins with... He supplies one through the middle this time. Can Fuzair do any better? A clean tackle. Referee sees nothing in it. The chance goes, like so many have come and gone for Al Raid. And Fuzair still down. So had was the likely player with the assist then having to do. And I'm floats it in there looking for Ronaldo. Sure to this point. Ronaldo's had an attempt. Of course, the one top player we're not seeing at the moment. Talisca's benefiting from his injury, I think. On the edge again? Or is this inside? Reid hoping it's just outside. I think it's a good decision. So close, near the end of the first half, Ronaldo. Every time he's stepping up for a free kick here, I think the ground staff are just getting ready to order a new set of goalposts or goal nets, because if any of... I think it's just grown and grown since those opening couple of games. Ronaldo! Ronaldo is able to... Ronaldo took it down. Oh, well played again, Moreira. It's becoming quite a duel between those two. Was he offside? I wonder. It looks like he has been given offside. Talisca again. Into Ronaldo. Here he goes. We've waited for it. Now the wait is over. The number seven scores with 77 minutes and a little more on the clock. 3-0. The contrast between the two sides there, I think, really evident in the last minute. How hard the home side are having to work to fashion an opportunity at the other end. Coping. 
Another decent pass up to El Bacardi. Into the box he goes. They earn themselves a penalty for all their valiant efforts, even if it is to be in a defeat. But Al Rey do have the chance. And it's yellow, and I think Abdelala Omari is quite great. Jose against Alakidi. Does that end the argument? Well, I think it might be revisited in the week, but anyway, they've got a goal. They deserve a goal for everything they've...